On average, only 2% of your website visitors will actually make contact with you. 2%, which means if you send 100 people to your website, two of them are going to interact with you. And guess what? This is considered good. This is considered very good when you talk about converting online. Most ad agencies out there will speak in the numbers of 1% and 2% and 3%. And if you can even achieve these numbers, you're doing excellent on the internet. I have a problem with that. I sit here and I think about this real quick and why the whole world focuses on this one to two to three percent conversions. I'm thinking to, in the back of my head, what about the other 98 percent? Well, we're going to talk about that today in this presentation. So let's get started. If we sent a hundred visitors to your website and two of those visitors make contact with you, whether it's engaging with you to buy your product or even fill out a lead form, you're sitting at a two percent conversion rate. That's what your rate is. That's what your website's converting at. If we converted that over to hard dollars, let me show you what this is. Let's assume for a moment that we're spending a $1 per visitor, which is completely average when you go out there on, on spending doing ad spends. A dollar per visitor, we send 100 visitors to your website with a 2% conversion rate, meaning two of them actually engage with you they fill out a lead form, they make contact with you, they're inquiring about your products or services. Well, the big question then is, what is the cost per lead? Remember, we sent 100 people there and two of them converted with that incredible conversion rate. You guys ready for this? Ouch, $50. That's right, your cost per lead or, or action taken on that website was $50. Okay, you spend $100 to get two people to convert, that's $50. Guys, the rest of the world out there on the internet, the, the marketers out there, the agencies out there would have you believe that this is an exceptional return on your money spent. Well, at Pixwalla, we tend to think different. We have turned this upside down and we have really uh, uh, changed things up and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay. Earlier, I asked the question, what about the other 98%? If we have 3%, 2% of these people converting, what about the rest of them? What about the 98% that did not convert on my website? They came to my website, they looked around, and then they got the heck out of there, right? Well, did you know, and you may not know this, but the average attention span of a website visitor is only seven to nine seconds. That's right, seven to nine seconds. As a matter of fact, Microsoft went out there and did a study where they took goldfish and they compared them to humans, had them both look at the website. And guess what? Would you, would you believe it that the goldfish maintained uh, their attention on that website for a total of nine seconds? And humans... Yep, you guessed it, six to eight seconds. So we're talking about a goldfish having a longer attention span than a human being. Amazing, right? Well, this is important, guys, and this is why. If you're sending 100 visitors to your website and you're only converting 2 to 3% of them, 98% of them are bouncing, you know what? It may not be the fact that they're not interested in your product. As a matter of fact, out of that 98%, I would, I would bet that a huge percent of them want exactly what you're selling, exactly what you're, get, you're, you're promoting. They, they want to engage with you. But guess what? For whatever reason, during that sacred six to eight seconds, you lost their attention. And that's it. Game over, right? They're gone. According to Google Analytics, they just show up as a click-through and now they're gone. There's nothing you can do at this point. Well, this is where Pixwalla changes everything. It is literally a game changer. What if there was a way to reveal the identity of the visitors to your website? What if there was a way to take those 98%, that 98% of people that came there and actually know who they were so that you have a second chance at winning their business over? 
Welcome to Pixwalla, everybody. We're able to reveal up to 40% of your website visitor profiles and actually provide them to you in the form of new leads. That's right. If you're used to Google Analytics, where you go and you're just looking at views or click-throughs, well, now those numbers actually mean something. We can give you the identity of those website visitors. That's what this text technology is about. I was once asked, Aaron, what does Pixwalla stand for? What does that even mean in, in your name? Well, I, I want to clarify that before we move on. The Pix represents a pixel. A pixel is a little tiny piece of code that lives on the website, kind of like Google Analytics does. And that pixel is all that's required to make this technology work. You just drop it on the website and it starts working. The Walla is a representation of the crowd. So it is the first pixel that reveals the identity of the crowd. We have websites with crowds of people going to it and no idea who these people are. No idea where to go back after them, how to remarket to them, nothing. And so for the first time ever with Pixwalla, we're actually able to reveal the identity of those individuals. Very cool. So I wanna run you through this scenario, guys. If we took those same numbers we did before and we said we were gonna pay a dollar per visitor to our website, let's say we had 100 visitors coming to our website, but this time we put our little pixel on there, our little Pixwalla pixel. Well, guess what? We are now able to to see a 40% conversion rate on identifying that traffic and creating leads for our business. You know what that means for us? We have a new cost per lead now, don't we? Remember previously the cost per lead was $50 to generate the lead off of 100 visitors. Well, if you took that same scenario and ran this through it, drum roll please, and $2.50, that's right, $2.50 is what we brought that lead cost down to. And that's running a 40% conversion rate on 100 visitors. If you were just generating an individual lead off of this PixWall platform, you can do it for as little as 10 cents. So it's amazing the technology, what it does. And you know what's cool about this, everyone? For any company to say, we can't afford to implement technology, I have something to tell them. You can't afford not to implement Pixwalla. Why? Because if you took that same $100 that you're spending right now to generate those two leads and you dropped your advertising budget to pay for the Pixwalla platform to have it in, in, embedded, this is what's going to happen. We're going to be able to decrease your lead cost by 95%. Oh, there's plenty of room now, isn't there, to pay for that PixWallet technology. We're going to increase your lead count by, who can guess it, 25 times. This is the average increase per lead that we see when somebody implements the PixWallet technology on their website. So if you had a website that was producing one lead a month, you drop our pixel on and that website's gonna do 25 times that. If you have a website that's doing 200 leads a month, it's gonna do 25 times that. That is what the PixWallet technology does. It is amazing. Now, in the case, in this scenario, if you were to take those same 100 people and go out and actually continue to run traffic until you drove up enough leads to equal the amount that PixWallet gives you, you will have spent $1,200 to be able to replicate what our technology does for your website. So how are we able to do this? How are we able to produce results like this? Well, it all starts with a pixel that goes on the website. And that pixel immediately goes to work when, it, when a new visitor hits your website. The, I don't know if you know this, but visitors leave fingerprints everywhere they go. Right? It's like kids in the, it, walking around your house. Anything they touch is fingerprints. Well, there's no difference with the web. When we surf the web, when we fill out forms, when we're going to websites, we're leaving fingerprints everywhere. When we're installing plugins in our browsers, when we're running certain fonts on our computer, all of this is creating a profile. And what the PixWallet technology does is it gathers data associated with you. Things like your IP address all the way down to geolocation, uh, fonts that are installed on your browser, all the way down to 
website visits, cookies, and, and so forth. And then it gathers that data, and then it starts constructing a digital DNA profile of the visitor. And it can't just go out and do this. There's no one-stop shop to say, hey, show me who my visitors are, and you go and get the data. No, data is built online. It's built piece by piece. And the way that this works is, let me give you an example. If I wanted to get a FICO score from one of my users, I would have to go to Experian or Equifax or TransUnion, and I would have to say, I need their FICO score. And Experian is going to look back at me and say, well, we are not going to give you that FICO score unless you give us first his social security number, the phone number, the address, and these other prerequisites that you must give us. And so that's how data works online. You can't just go out and request data and get it. There are prerequisites that are required in the data gathering process. And so the PixWalla engine that runs this technology knows how to go and get each piece of data and compile it in a way that allows it to go out and get more data. And so over time, it starts constructing a, a literal digital DNA of the, of the viewer that hits the website. As a matter of fact, as the technology is running and this DNA is being gathered, this data, and it's being compiled, within seconds it has formed a complete identity of that website visitor. And you now have a profile of who the visitors are that are visiting your website. Very, very cool. Now... Pixwalla uses a normalized AI type algorithm, meaning that it has to go to multiple data sources on the internet, data houses, data, and they're all over the place. But it, it knows where to go and gather the data and in what order to gather it to be able to move on to the next phase and gather more data. So very, very cool. And on average, we're able to reveal the identity of up to 40% of your website traffic. Now, why not 100? Well, everybody has different footprints or fingerprints on the web. You may have an elderly individual that never surfs the web, and you might have a 20-year-old that grew up with an iPhone attached to their hip, or they're connected into the world. So both of those individuals are going to have two different identities on, online. And so because of that, there's always going to be a variable as to how many of people you can actually uh, unveil and, and, and build digital DNA for. And so to offset that, that whole dilemma of there's just not any single profile that's the same as the last, we are going to, um, we have to do what's called um, quality score the leads. And the way that we do this, and follow me on this, hopefully I'm not losing any of you guys, but when you start the process of gathering the data, the system self-checks itself and it goes through 10 stages of validation. And if that data successfully gathered and that profile is built all the way to the to the 10th stage, then that, that lead is, is quality scored at a really high rate whereby if we start the process and the quality score is much lower because it can't self-test itself to move on to the next stage then that leads going to have a lower quality score so we're able to not only reveal identity but we're also able to put some quality score scoring to the actual data very cool stuff now PixWalla does not just consist of that okay that alone is awesome right but it also consists of statistical models, pattern filtering, predictive behavior, data scoring. It even has a built-in CRM. And I'm not going to go into detail on all this. I want to just focus on one item, which is called pattern filtering. Have you guys ever wanted to take like a group of people? Let's say you were having a huge meeting in a hotel room and you had 500 people in the room. And you wanted to separate those people into categories of buyers and non-buyers or people that are qualified to buy your product and people that aren't. Well, what if you could take the room and you could divide it up and you could say everybody that has a discretionary income score 
of 70 moved to this side of the room. And everybody that has a discretionary income score of 20 moved to this side of the room, meaning the, the, the group that had a discretionary income score of 70 has a lot more buying potential than the one that has a discretionary income score of 20. So you're able to separate out your people. Well, PicSwall allows you to do the same thing. Take in the data and then pattern filter it out. And, and you could group it by whatever data fields you want. If you want to do it by state and have everybody in Texas go in one group and everybody in California go in another group, you can. If you want to do it by income score, annual income, or their, uh, or, or their uh, wealth score, how wealthy they are, these are things that the system allows you to do so that you can be smarter about your marketing. Pattern filtering is huge. Now what's cool about pattern filtering is once you've got those people divided up, you go, well, what do I do with them? Well, now you can actually take that data and move it into an automatic uh, type system that does auto responders or automatic follow up to work those leads on your behalf. And so we're actually tethered, we call it tethering, but it's our, the Pixwall application is actually tethered into companies like Aweber and GetResponse, Constant Contact, MailChimp, and iContact. These are auto responder systems that, that meaning when I say tether, I mean the lead gets generated and it automatically gets filtered and then automatically put on a list in one of these uh, these companies. And that is amazing, guys, completely automated behind the scenes so that you can continue to just work on marketing, 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 and let the systems in the back end know how to filter and move all those people where they need to go. So that's pattern filtering. In addition to these third-party applications, we also are fully integrated into Infusionsoft, HubSpot, Salesforce, Zoho, and even Sugar CRM, one of our favorites. And meaning, um, Let's just say that your CRM system is sitting on Salesforce or Infusionsoft. You can have our technology generate the lead and automatically move that person into Infusionsoft or into HubSpot if you're already familiar with HubSpot and you already have your systems on them on HubSpot. And, and some people will even set up their autoresponders through, through the CRM system like HubSpot. So instead of using one of the tethered services, I'll just send the data right to HubSpot and then still control the firing off of the email on the back end. But the nice thing is PixWall is integrated to, into both. Now, there's some of you guys out there that don't even have a CRM, and you will be glad to hear that we actually took care of one for you. That's right. PixWall comes with its own built-in CRM system that does the lead scoring. It does all of your data enrichment. As a matter of fact, it does not automatically. If you look on the screen, you'll see greens and reds. Well, the greens mean those are events that are automatically set up and they're running and the uh, and the and the reds mean that they're turned off, meaning that when the lead comes in, it's going to automatically get their email. It's going to automatically get their phone number. It's going to automatically get their wealth score, their financial score, their buyer score. But it's not going to get their social handles and it's not going to get their address because I can turn those items off if that data is not relative or relevant to what I'm doing, you can actually turn it off. Now the CRM itself is built in with everything from lead stages. Um, you can disposition calls, leave notes. You can um, enrich data manually through it. You can also uh, see things like your last communication or, or how many phone calls you made into them. You can move people from, from my hot leads to the leads that I'm working to the leads that I've closed. It's a very nice uh, CRM for those that may not have something set up um, with some of the other third-party providers. So with that being said, you guys want to see a real back office? Boom, there you go. This is what is so awesome, guys. So what you see in front of you is a chart, right? We're going to zoom in on that chart. Now that chart shows you a traffic pattern. The top graph that you see there is showing the traffic that's hitting the website. The bottom chart is showing you the actual leads that are being generated. If you notice, not a single day goes by that leads aren't being generated. And you'll also notice patterns that when traffic increases, leads increase. And so what's cool about this is was if somebody plugs this in, they can immediately start seeing the benefit from running ad campaigns or solo ads or whatever type of um, placement of their ads out in the market, they can immediately start seeing an increase in leads. This is not a technology that takes time to work. As a matter of fact, um, a recent company that implemented it 
I came in and actually put the pixel on their website before I gave a presentation. And the presentation lasted about 45 minutes. And when I was done with it, we opened up the system and they had generated eight leads off of the system in the time I was giving them a presentation on how it worked. This technology goes to work immediately. You don't have to wait for it to start working. Very cool stuff. Now, the, the system's based upon what are called credits. And what it does is you, you, when you set up your account, you get a bundle of credits, right? Like a buck, bucket of credits. And every piece of data you're enriching will take a credit out of it, right? And then you can refill your bucket of credits. Well, because there's different prices for each piece of data that we're enriching, and we're talking about pennies here, guys. This is not like high dollar data matching and, and data enrichment. We're talking about frac just fractions of, of money here very very small amounts but you might say I don't need the address I want to save a couple of pennies off of the data by not including the address and because of that I don't have to use the credits which means that I can enrich more leads when it comes to just getting their email address and name and phone number so so you get to pick and choose what data you want to enrich the more data you enrich the quicker you'll burn through your credits the less data it'll preserve those credits and give you more leads so you get to decide how much of that you get you want to do so it's very cool system in, in in that this is a screen of the tethering to tether the applications into this one like for instance if i wanted to connect aweber i simply click on the logo and then it's going to prompt me to log into aweber when i log in the connections are automatically made there's no programming or coding or pasting anything um, when you go and create your pixels on the platform this is literally one of my funnest parts of the, of the technology because I'm able to create multiple pixels, which means I can have a different pixel live on my buyer's page than I do on my home page. And so I can start seeing who's moved through the through my website and actually landed on the buyer's page. And then I can take the people for the, from those pixels and say, I want to segment the people that go to on my buyer's page. I want them to go into this list and the people that go into my uh homepage I want to have them go into this list so you can actually separate that out by doing that pattern filtering here's an example once you go into a pixel you can say I want this pixel that I'm gonna put on my order page to automatically go into my MailChimp account and I want it to automatically go into my list called buyers list and it's a list of everybody that's hitting your buyers page so it gives you a chance to really segment that this is an example of the, of the tracking uh, pixel that goes on the website you copy it and paste it and then this is the CRM itself and as you can see when you zoom in on the CRM each field has specific data that you can enrich. In this case, well score 70, I see the annual income, I see the discretionary income score, but on the second lead down, I've enriched their wealth score, but I have not pulled their annual income or their discretionary score. So if I wanted to see those, I would just click the view button to be able to see them. Um, very, very cool. Now, one of the things and goals we have with Pixwalla is that all your data flows through Pixwalla because if you can get it to go through Pixwalla, it opens up the door for you to connect and move that data into multiple services at the same time. For example, you'll see some little green squares on the page here, right? That is showing that any lead that comes in through this lead form is going to automatically be sent to MailChimp and HubSpot. It's going to fire off an SMS message and then it's going to uh, jump on over to uh, the notification systems and 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 so you have the ability to to take in a lead and then equally distribute it out among your different uh, systems that you have in place and so that is what makes it so cool so we actually have a form builder that you create your own forms with and then you replace out the form on your website so instead of having a form that just sends an email to you that somebody inquired you put our form the Pixwalla form on your website and now you can do things with that form. You can have the data go directly to your uh, autoresponder or to your CRM, or you can pattern filter the data. You can just fun, fun stuff, right? So this system allows you to build those forms. And anyhow, that is Pixwalla, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it and you're as excited as I am about it. I'd like to uh, just recommend to you to get to the person that sent you to this video 
and also invite you to learn about our new program that we just launched, which are called Pixwallow Fulfillment Agents. And if you're looking for a way to leverage this technology out to the market and actually make money off of it, imagine sharing Pixwalla, guys, for a moment. Imagine sharing it with a, with a business that's local to you and then earning money off every lead they generate. That's right, every lead. And you can do that with our compensation model. And I invite you to watch that video and learn about that. And join us at Pixwalla and be one of our fulfillment agents. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Aaron Warner, and I thank you for learning a little bit about Pixwalla today.